The warnings are over. Fines begin tomorrow for businesses violating Philly's plastic bag ban. Eyewitness News anchor Siafa Lewis hit the streets to find out what customers and business owners are saying about it. Hi, Siafa. Hey, good evening, Jess. More than 27 months after City Council voted to enact this ban, and six months after the final warning period went into effect, Friday rings in a new era in Philadelphia, one without plastic bags. Walking around the city's Fairmount section, we couldn't help but notice plastic bags strewn about the sidewalk. It's estimated that Philadelphians use roughly a billion plastic bags every year. This ban hopes to seriously decrease that number and what it means for the environment. Reusable bags are like a great alternative to plastic bags, and it's better for the environment. We have plastics all over. They're filling the oceans. We even have plastics inside of our body. A Dutch study did, in fact, find that 80% of the people in their study had microplastics in their blood. Meanwhile, small business owner Kevin Bell, who owns Butter Soul Food, shared his thoughts on the ban. To me, it's a good thing. It's enough bags in the ocean as of right now to me. Um, the biodegradable would be a lot, you know, at least, at least for the environment and everything. We also found a young man who opposes the ban. I think it's ridiculous. I think it is, uh, uh, it, it imposes on people to try to find money for bags when it should, it should be free. And another business owner who's concerned about losing money. A lot of places will lose money because. Many places, especially as small bodegas like this, small stores, they have plastic bags in the stock. And here's a tip for consumers from Courtney. What you do is just take your reusable bags, leave them in your car, or if you have like a cart, just leave it in there, and it's not that bad. It's not that bad indeed. The city says this ban will make the city cleaner, reduce waste, and save taxpayer dollars. The minimum fine for businesses which do not comply is $150. In Spring Garden, Seattle, CBS 3. Eyewitness News.